Erectile dysfunction is the inability to achieve or maintain an erection that's suitable for intercourse. The prevalence of ED is really high. Probably about 50% or more of men age 50 have erectile dysfunction, and that risk increases with age. So by age 60, over 60% 60 of men have issues with it, and it goes up from there. However, men who are younger than 50 or even younger than 40 can also have problems with erectile dysfunction, and I've treated men as young as in their 20s with erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction is usually a vascular issue. It is generally an issue where there is not enough blood flow into the penis or you aren't able to trap the blood in the penis. Sometimes it's a lifelong issue, but often it's something that's acquired with age. And it is much more prevalent in patients with diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, and smokers. And that's really just because that affects vessels and nerves and that's what you need to have a good erection. We used to think that erectile dysfunction was just psychological and now that's very obviously not true. Your stress, your overall um, health, your sleep, all of that does have something to do with erections and that's why erections aren't going to always be exactly the same every single time. But there is usually and often an organic or biologic component as well. Sometimes treatment for erectile dysfunction really is just changing certain behavioral things or sometimes some therapy or counseling. However, there is a huge use of oral medications or pills to help with erections and those can often be really, really successful. If the pills aren't working or you can't take them for whatever reason, we have injectable medications, vacuum pumps, and even surgery that can help restore erectile function. When I'm evaluating erectile dysfunction or Peyronie's disease, it is important to really get a good idea of the function and of the curvature if we're talking about Peyronie's disease. In my practice, we do start with oral medications for erectile dysfunction, but I move quickly into evaluation with imaging and specifically with a duplex Doppler ultrasound of the penis. That gives me more information on the actual vascular integrity or the vascular health of the penis and helps me to figure out why you may be having erectile dysfunction the severity of the erectile dysfunction, as well as what I could potentially offer you for treatment. It takes a lot of courage for patients to come in here and talk about things like erectile dysfunction or low testosterone or issues with their sex life, but that's really what we're here for and we're here to help you with that. We hear these things every day and while it is a very unique situation for each patient, we have heard almost anything that you can imagine before. I want all my patients to lead a healthy and fulfilling sex life. Despite age, disease state, or surgery, your sexual health matters to me and my team.